I'm Samson Bagoma. I'm from Gary too, and I'm a class of 24. I'm taking two majors. I'm taking other psychology and allied health. I was born in, in Kenya, then went to Uganda, and then came to US. Moving to Texas, it was like moving to another world. I came down here with my family. Coming here, I didn't have anyone that I knew, and my parents don't speak English, so like, it was hard, like, plus I had a big accent, so like, it was hard for me. Matter of fact, it was uh, in high school, the first day of class, I came in, my, my, my teacher was like, uh, he asked me a question, but like, my accent was so strong, that she couldn't understand me. And after school, I stayed, and I was like, ma'am, I'm, so, I, I was like, I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm new in the US. She was like, it's okay, don't worry about it. That's something that I did, you know, like, going and ask for like, help from people, from my teachers, and. It, the students around me. My junior year, I was like, man, where am I going? You know, cause I had, I had a good GPA. That's good, I had like, oh, like a 4.0. So that was a good thing. So I applied to many schools. I applied uh, Texas A&M, applied TCU. All those big, like big top schools in Texas. I got accepted in all, all of them. And most of them I got full ride. Something that made my last decision, it was, uh, it was Jerry. By that time, he was not working for the core. He was working for the, the university. He was an advisor. He came. To, uh, he came down in Fort Worth. He was like, "What schools have you applied to?" I'm like, um, "I've applied to all of the schools, but I don't know which one to choose." You know? He's like, uh, "Have you heard of Texas a and I was like, "Yeah, I've heard of it, but I've never actually put my mind in it." That night, that was my homework. I went home on my small computer on YouTube. The thing that got me the most is when they played the, uh, like the what is it, the band played the Aggie War hymn. It was like, this, this is, this is what I'm talking. About. Like it just, it just, I don't know. It's just that, that thing that man, I can, I can do this. You know, this is where I want to go. This. The next day, I accepted my text and my application. Like I accepted the letter. Two weeks later, Jerry, Jerry came by. He's like, what was the decision? I'm like, hey Jerry, don't worry, man. I, I already accepted my letter and I'm good to go. Ah, he was like, oh, okay, okay, that's good, that's good. He asked me, um, have you ever heard of, some, uh, of this thing called the, the core? I was like, uh, what is the core? What are you talking about? After he left, I, again, I went home, and uh, YouTube, my favorite, you know, my favorite place to go. I went on YouTube, searched on the core of cadets. I was like, they marching, I was like, I saw them marching in the game, they get like this front row, I was like, Okay, let me try it. So like I signed up in the core and that's how I got here. You know what's funny? I never told my parents I'm joining the core. I'm sorry, mom and dad. It was one week before FOW. Like I was I was changing doing my stuff, getting ready. I never told my parents. My parents drove me here. It, just, it was like just another day. The first day when I came here, it was the day of FOW, freshman orientation week. They gave us a little core tour, like a tour around campus. And I was like, man, this is, I don't know, I don't know about other universities, they may be great, but I think I can, this is what I want to be. I was, I felt in love the first day. The core has given me a challenge, has taught me different lessons. I've learned how to care for my peers, you know. Or you're the leader, whatever, the leader doesn't have to be the one on top every time. It's all about the people under you. If somebody actually sees that you genuinely care about them, that's my definition of leadership, you know? Caring about other people, making sure they do what they're supposed to do. My life has been made of help. By all means, I can't pay what they've done for me, I can't pay what God has done for me. But if I can help one kid, one person, that I'll have done my job. I hope one day God give me a chance to do that, because that's all I want to do. Mm -hmm.